Dorothy Vega. And I am Alberto Vega, I'm the other partner of the office. The office is based in Barcelona since 10 years ago almost. And well, uh, the main task of the office is mainly to do competitions, open competitions abroad, Europe mainly. Well, the, the building is an ensemble of a lot of things, a lot of influences, a lot of uh, uh, even obsessions that we have. And you can see uh, perceptions of reference of the city, as you said, uh, the neolithic uh, churches, the verticality of the buildings, these impressive volumes that are characterizing not just the city, the region. No. And what we have done is try to filter all these inputs that we had, what we perceived that was important in the stitching, and add to these perceptions our uh, idea of what should be a philharmony in this place, this specific site, uh, in a contemporary way. So the filter of all these aspects, all these topics, is the, res the result is the, this shape <coughs> that characterizes the building. And so there's not only one influence, one reference, it's a mix of things. And th this ensemble is what characterizes the building. Basically, the building is the first building to an urban uh, renovation. Um, so, the, the role of the building uh, is also try to reactivate a quarter, and, and also it is a philharmony, and its main activity is during the night. So, finally, we, we think that uh, use the facade uh, to improve this the perception of the building could be interesting in a way we, we we try to create a duality during the day the building is very stark it's it's uh, very pure it's monolith it's a new urban block and gradually during the night uh, we discovered that it could transform no disappear and, and work with with like to show basically the activity that uh, uh, could start uh, inside. Well, we, we have tried inside. We have tried to. Uh, I mean, be very clear with, with the skin, very pure with the skin. The holes, both holes, are very well defined. Uh, the secondary spaces are surrounding these holes because we wanted to achieve a very. Uh, easily uh, there is a space for, for the public space inside the building and try to minimize uh, the influence of the secondary elements or the technical spaces as you said but, so that's why the crown of the building is the space who storages all these spaces then inside uh, of course the main actor is the philharmonic hall you know, everything is devoted to this space so everything makes sense because of this space. So, and there is a contrast between what happens inside the concert hall and what ha happens outside the, the concert hall. And that's where you can see this difference between both, both kind of uses, how the spaces outside are conceived and how the main concert hall is conceived. And in this relationship, we have tried to avoid all the secondary aspects like technical spaces, technical spaces, or we have tried to avoid everything that could contaminate this idea of purity inside, inside the console hall and outside the console hall. To see uh, the building in use is uh, it's beautiful, it's, very, it's, it's a surprise really. First of all because I think that the citizen for the people from Stetching are very happy with the building they want to use it, they sp spend time there and, and, and I think that is a building that uh, ha has, has linked with, with the city in, in, in a way. And the foyer for example is a big covered plaza basically you know? and, and, and it's used really like a, a public space, a meeting uh, space. And, and, uh, and this is the most uh, important thing. And, and the other is that we put a very, very special attention to the symphony hall. 
no? for, for the acoustic of the, this hall. No? And finally, we achieve, uh, I think, a, a great acoustic. And not because I say that, but because the musicians say that. The musicians are very happy to play there. And, and this is basically the reason uh, for to do the building. So it's, it's great. <laughs>